Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Emily and I do a lot of different things here on my channel from running, beading, cooking, just all kinds of different things, mom life. And today I am going to show you what we're making for dinner. My husband is out of town so I'm trying to stay a little more low carb while he's gone. It's easier to eat healthy when he's not here. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I bought a rotisserie chicken just to make things a little easier on myself, and I'm going to just shred that up, put it in the bottom of a pan, cover it in tomato sauce, and then put mozzarella and Parmesan cheese over the top, and bake it in the oven at 350 for probably 20 minutes, just until the cheese gets kind of harder and bubbly. Um, if my husband was here, I would probably add some noodles or something like that to bulk it up. But since he is not, I'm gonna save myself um, the carbs and a few calories and just do it like this. Right, so I spared you from having to watch me debone a rotisserie chicken. <clears throat> so I just have it here. Yes, I ate some. Not a lot, <laughs> wasn't a ton on there, but I did eat some. So I'm just gonna pour some tomato sauce over the top. And then I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to put <clears throat> some Parmesan cheese also, but I wanna put some more mozzarella like around the edges. Mm, that looks so good. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of Italian seasoning. All right, I cleaned my kitchen while we're waiting. So it's nice and straight and neat now. And I think this is ready to come out. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then cut into her and see what she tastes like. Well, I was so hungry, I gobbled that up and forgot to take a picture of it. <coughs> Excuse me, or film it. So, anyway, it was really, really delicious.
Okay, so I have just some red bell pepper and garlic that I sauteed in butter. And then this is the leftover turkey from Thanksgiving that I cut up and I freezed. I'm just gonna dump all that in here. And reheat that. I should've cut that up a little bit, no big deal. And then I have some spinach and this will cook down to nothing. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of this in there. I'm gonna cook all this together and then I'm just gonna make a crustless quiche. So I guess it's out of frittata out of it. I'm gonna season it just with some salt and pepper and that is gonna be my meal prep for the week. Some low carb turkey frittata. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It's been cooking for like six or seven hours and it's completely done. I did taste it and it's really good. Um, but I didn't put any liquid in. This is just from um, the chicken. And then I just had some store-bought pico de gallo um, that I threw in there too. So it does have some good flavor and I used some of the Montreal chicken seasoning. So I'm gonna shred this up and I'm gonna section it out for my meals this week. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with all of this chicken that I made. All I did this morning was put a bag of frozen chicken breasts and then some pico de gallo. Both of them are on sale at the grocery store this week. So I'm trying to make meals out of that, um, those. I'm only working four days this week, so I only need four lunches, but also my husband is out of town tonight and tomorrow night. So I'm thinking I'm gonna stretch this chicken out into four lunches and a couple of dinners as well. So um, I did get some of these spinach, oh, it's upside down, these spinach wraps. These were also on sale. They were 99 cents at my grocery store. So I think um, for at least two of the lunches and maybe a dinner tonight, I'm gonna do wraps with spinach, um, tomatoes from my garden. I have some ranch dressing that I made last week. Um, that's really good. And I think I have half of an onion that I can stick on there and maybe a little bit of cheese. Um, for the other meals to try to bulk it up a little bit, I'm, this is always my go-to. I have um, some corn and some black beans. Then I have a bag of cauliflower rice in my freezer. So I think that for the other two lunches this week, I'm gonna have like a Tex-Mex bowl type thing. And maybe for a dinner tomorrow, have the same thing. So I'm gonna put 
some of that together now. Okay, so there's my bowls. I've got black beans and corn, and then I've got cauliflower rice, a whole piece of chicken, and then I put some of that pico de gallo on top. So I've got two lunches and a dinner, and then I'm gonna put a wrap together for tonight, but I'm not gonna make the other wraps for my lunches yet because I don't want the spinach and tomatoes and stuff to get soggy with the ranch dressing on it. So I'm just gonna cut up that chicken and put it in like another one of these containers so that uh, it'll be easy to grab, but I will show you how I'm going to make those because I'm going to have um, one of the wraps for dinner tonight. Okay, so I have these spinach wraps. It says they're 90 calories a piece, so I guess that's not too terrible. Um, I made this ranch for a girls' night the other night, and it was leftover, and it's kind of thick now, so I've got to slide it around. That's quite a bit of ranch. Okay, and then I'm gonna do, I guess my spinach, I'll put a good handful. Okay, I cut up one tomato from my garden. half of an onion left so I cut it up and I'm gonna put a third of it on here and save the rest for my other wraps and then I'll take a third of my chicken that I have cut up stick it there well it's gonna be a huge wrap and then I also have some of this um, thick cut um, cheese and then I'm almost out of it so I'm just gonna put the rest of it on there this is gonna be gigantic. This is not gonna wrap up nicely. Okay, let's see if I can do this. So, it says roll it with straight sides. You can simply roll it up, no folding in the extra edges. So, let's see. So I kinda get everything <laughs> together. roller on up. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut it. And this is my dinner. That actually looks pretty good. Let's see, I'll take a bite. really good so excuse me that's really good so I'm gonna have this for dinner I'm gonna have one of these for lunch tomorrow I'll just make it in the morning before I go I'm going to have one of my bowl Tex-Mex bowls for dinner tomorrow 
and then I'll have another wrap for lunch on Tuesday. And then my husband will be home Tuesday night. So we'll all just make like a regular dinner for our family. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I will have those Tex-Mex bowls. And then uh, we're going out of town for a wedding on Friday. So I will have a sub and I will not be teaching Friday. So there it was, that was really simple um, meal prep for the week and pretty healthy, pretty low carb. I mean, these aren't low carb, but these are healthy. My Tex-Mex bowls are low carb. Um, and I'm just really happy. I, that makes my week so much easier when I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna eat for lunch. So anyway, thanks for watching.